Okay, so where we last left off, I was working on this joist over here, and I've got that pretty much done. I may have to put another sister on on this side. Uh, there's some creaking going on over there, but I'm going to try using some bolts first to see if that's going to help, some carriage bolts. And if that doesn't work, then I will go ahead and sister this side here. Um, so what I'm in the process of doing right now is checking for flatness across the floor in the front there. And actually I'm going to stack, I'm going to check about once every foot throughout this whole bathroom. Um, and it's going to be perpendicular to the joist and also I'm going to check for flatness going that way. Uh, the bathroom is out of level, so flatness and level, those are two different things. Uh, you just want to make sure that there's no you know, dips like this in the floor or you know, any kind of crowns in the floor that could cause some problems when you put down uh, the subfloor and then also put the uh, tile on top of that from what I've read and from what I've been counseled. So, um, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm checking for flatness uh, across the joist. Uh, as you look down there, I have a straight, this is a uh, piece of wood flooring that I had left over and and it, it's five feet long which fits perfectly in this bathroom. So what I'm doing right now, like I said, I'm checking for flatness and I had to sand down uh, the ends of the joists over there. I'm just going to check once every foot so I don't have, you know, the floor doing like this, the joists kind of doing like this again uh, as I go along. Uh, so. I don't want to take off too much material when I'm sanding and that's why I'm checking once every foot. Uh, so what happened, what you see over there, for example, that was about 3 16 of an inch off if I remember correctly. And now I've got it down to about a 16th of an inch, which is within tolerance. I'm not going to get too carried away with sanding these joists down uh, because I don't want to take off so much material that later on I'm looking and going, uh-oh, you know, this isn't quite right. So I'm just, if you look over in that corner, uh, about a sixteenth of an inch off over there. So I think that part is good now. So I'm going to do is back up this way about a foot, check again, and then sand some more material off as needed. And um, by the time I get to the end, you know, hopefully everything will be flat. So that when I put the new subfloor down, everything will be flat across the board here. So I'm going to go ahead and move back a foot. Uh, one of the things I did, I picked up this laser level here. And so you can set this, set this down and I got it real cheap at a pawn shop so uh, and they were having a close out on a bunch of stuff and I ended up buying this, it was real cheap, it was like 60 bucks so, uh, so it's self leveling and it shoots a beam, a laser beam around the room and you can check so that's how I was able to check the, the differences between the heights and the, of the different joists in here. And that's how I found out that I was about 5 sixteenths out of level consistently from the back of the, of the bathroom all the way to the front. So, um, and that helped, this helped also for checking the joists in relation to each other, you know, the heights of the joists in relationship to each other. And I was able to, to determine that uh, this one joist right here is lower than all, all the other joists in here uh, just by probably by about an eighth of an inch so that's kind of why I'm doing a lot of the sanding in here so I'm going to go ahead and move back a foot and then I'm going to start doing the rest of these, these joists here and what I'm doing is I'm checking using the straight edge across the joists and, and I'm also using a level to check the level going that direction yeah, it looks fairly level right now actually, it looks really level. It's right on right on there. So I'm just gonna keep an eye on it. Uh, turn this off. And so uh, if you can look real close here you'll notice well you probably can't see from the camera angle, but this side is a little bit low here, this part. And then this part is a little bit low here, so I'm going to have to trim a little bit from here and possibly a little bit from this, this outside joist here. So uh, I'm just going to go gradually. I'm not getting too aggressive with this and going very gradual and uh, taking a little bit by a little bit off. Probably going three, four, five passes over each over the joist uh, just to make sure that it's level. So um, now that I've checked that, I'm going to move this out of the way. 
and just continue on. going I'm using a I think this is has like what A through F for the speeds it's kind of weird that they're lettered instead of numbered but there must be a reason for that um, so I'm using it on C instead of using going too aggressive because I'm not taking a whole lot of material off anyway uh, so I'll check again with the straight edge as I go this is going to take a little while to get this done, but um, I just want to make sure this floor is as flat as I can before I put the subfloor down. Uh, yeah, it looks like that's going to have to sand closer to the middle here. It looks like it's starting to kind of go like this a little bit. So my sand is not that good over there. Okay, so the bubble's starting to move towards the right, so I need to take a little bit more off this side here. I mentioned this but I'm not trying to make this perfect I just want to get it as close as I can to flat and it, a sixteenth of an inch uh, within one foot is what I read is what you want what you want to try to achieve um, and I'm getting fairly close to that here looks like this is about a sixteenth there that's a little bit off there so I'm getting really close it's a little bit of a rock there to it so check the level again Hey everyone, so you saw previously that I was doing a lot of sanding and I got to the point where I said, you know what, I really need to sister this one joist again. Uh, and the reason for that is because this joist, the pair here, was just too low. Consistently low across all, when I was trying to check, you know, for flatness across all four joists, this one was consistently about one eighth of an inch low. And I decided, you know what, I really want to get this as close to zero as I can. So I went ahead and sistered it one more time. And then I you know, used the sanding techniques that I was showing earlier, where I'd sand a little bit and then just try to smooth it out all the way across. So I'd concentrate on one area, then smooth out all the way across. And um, so that's what I did. I sistered this one again, I sanded it down, and now we're good. Um, I checked, I've checked level and flatness across 
all four joists and it looks really good. Uh, there's only one spot in the whole room where I'm actually about 1 16th of an inch low uh, and that's not on this joist, it's on the joist over here.